Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes will face a tough test in the Sweet 16 Getty Images. For the second year in a row, the Iowa Hawkeyes will face the Colorado Buffaloes in the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Women's Tournament. Last year, Colorado had a narrow lead at halftime, but Caitlin Clark led a third-quarter surge that put Iowa in front for good. What will be in store this time around? Clark and company survived a serious scare from West Virginia in the second round earlier this week, while Colorado went into Manhattan and stunned Kansas State to advance. Clark believes that she and the Hawkeyes will have plenty of support on Saturday in Albany, New York. When you get to go on the road, it kind of takes you back to see how many Iowa fans there are across the country, and that's kind of been the biggest thing for us all year, Clark told CBS Sports. No matter where we've been able to go, whether it was on the East Coast, whether it was Nebraska, anywhere, we had great crowds. A win on Saturday by Iowa could set up a national championship rematch if LSU is also successful in defeating UCLA. The Tigers beat the Hawkeyes in last year's national title game, which created quite the stir because of Angel Reese's taunt to Caitlin Clark toward the end of the game. A win by both teams could set up one epic clash with a Final Four bid at stake. All the action is set for Saturday afternoon in Albany, New York, with a trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Here's what you need to know. How to watch, 1, Iowa vs. 5, Colorado. Date, Saturday March 30th, time, 3.30 p.m. ET. Location, MVP Arena, Albany, New York. TV, ABC, live stream, Fubo, try for free. Iowa vs. Colorado, key storyline. The big matchup in this game is Clark against Jalen Sherrod Colorado's fifth-year guard and three-time All-Pac-12 defensive team honoree. Sherrod is a terrific on-ball defender with the capability to bother Clark, but got into foul trouble in last year's meeting. As a result, she spent little time actually guarding Clark who went off for 31 points on 50% shooting in that game. Colorado is a strong defensive team, and IT will certainly look to follow West Virginia's blueprint by being physical and aggressive on the perimeter. Can Sherrod stay out of foul trouble and lead the line? And how will Clark respond after shooting poorly in the first two games of the tournament? The answer to those questions will determine who advances to the Elite Eight and who sees their season come to an end.